Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to this exploration of what's beyond coaching, having conversations that change lives. And the first thing that beyond coaching, having conversations that change lives is, is a five-day immersion coming up in London from the 31st of May to the 4th of June that I'll be leading. And it's the first time I'll be talking directly about the transformative conversation. What is it to have a meaningful conversation about the nature of the human experience with somebody. Now, what makes a conversation meaningful? Well, Lyndon Duke was a, a teacher that I, I came across kind of fairly early in my career, and he, he made a very simple description. He said, if something makes a difference, it's meaningful. The more of a difference it makes, the more meaningful it is. The less of a difference it makes, the less meaningful it is. So a meaningful conversation about the nature of the human experience is a conversation that makes a difference. It's an exploration. It's not a teaching. It's not a, a showing. It's not a, a fixing. So just to make a very simple set of distinctions, and these are not the way everybody uses the words, but in a general sense, the therapeutic approach is what's wrong and how can we fix it? Sometimes it's what's wrong and how can we understand it and in understanding it, it come to accept it. In, in coaching, the fundamental question is, what do you want and how, how do you get it? It's, it's how do you get more out of yourself? How do you get better at what it is you want to get better at it? How do you improve? But beyond therapy and beyond coaching is a conversation about who and what we are. There's no assumption in this conversation that there is anything wrong or anything you need to improve, nor that there would be anything wrong with wanting to improve things. It's simply taking a look at what's actually going on behind the scenes. And it just so happens that when people start to glimpse what's going on behind the scenes, the, the, the formless nature of reality, the spiritual nature of reality. It does a body good. It's good for the physical body. It's good for the soul. It wakes people up to another dimension of being. It wakes people up to a deeper level of feeling where you begin to experience life more and more from a place of, of well-being, of love, of peace, of presence, of delight in being alive. Unconditional delight. So what we will be exploring is, how, how do you do that? But, but not how do you do that if you're a coach, or how do you do that if you're a therapist, or how do you do that if you're a blank. Just how, how does it work? How can you have conversations with people that change lives? How can you bring more of your feeling to the surface, more of your delight, more of your presence, more of your aliveness? And in doing that, how is it that your aliveness sparks aliveness in others? I, I used to use the metaphor of when my, my um, The Inside Out Revolution came out and I talked with the publisher about what what we would do to promote it because, you know, was, I'd, I'd done a number of books by that time and I knew something about book promotion. And I said, this one is going to live or die on the backs of the fireflies. And what I meant was that when people see this for themselves, they light up. It's like the light was always there. But for whatever reason, they didn't know it. So it would occasionally come on and freak them out and then just go off again. And they thought, oh, I don't know. what that, that was nice. But, but when you start to see who and what you are, when you start to feel who and what you really are, the light comes on and it stays on. And that light draws others to you. And when they show up, what do you do? What do you say? Is there a way? And... Obviously, I'm saying there are ways that you can have meaningful conversations with them about the nature of the human experience that help them light up.
that help them realize they're lit from within and they can live in the light of delight, in the light of joy, in the light of creativity, in the light of presence. That is who they actually are. And we're going to spend our whole time exploring that in different modalities. It's going to be lots of exercises that you can play with, lots of experiments that you can do, lots of me kind of riffing on things and having beyond coaching sessions. Like, I, I don't even know what to call them. It's just beyond. It's, there, there are sessions where the, the goal isn't to find out what's wrong and fix it. The goal isn't to, you know, find out what they want and help them get it. The goal isn't to improve. The goal is just to see more about what already is and feel more of who you already are. Now, if that appeals, I would love to see you in London Live. I would love to, to see you online. It, if you haven't done one of our, our immersions online, Lynn and the team have done an amazing job. Uh, everyone says that the online experience, the live stream experience is like being in the room. So I encourage you to join me. London, 31st of May to the 4th of June. Go to michaelneal.org forward slash beyond coaching and you can sign up and learn more there. Have fun, learn heaps, happy exploring, and I'll see you soon.